Hey guys, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I have now completed the Guitar Hero One Man Band Full Series FC on Expert. That means that I've FC'd every song from every game in, in the Guitar Hero series on every instrument on Expert. This has never been done before, and it comes as a result of well over a decade of playing the game. So I really cannot understate how big of a milestone this is for me. The bad news is that after I finished the full series FC on guitar back in March, all that I had left was vocals. Vocals gameplay is, quite frankly, not very fun, and it's also not very interesting to watch. So uh, this does not inherently make an interesting video, which is very unfortunate. So in order to combat that issue, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about Guitar Hero vocals in general, and then go into a little more detail about some of the lesser known Guitar Hero vocals quirks, including the Guitar Hero Live vocals experience. And then I'll transition over to showing you the FC runs for the final five songs I had left. And finally, I will show you the one man band full series FC slideshow, which will include screenshots for all 2,205 FCs that make up the Guitar Hero series on disc. That last part alone took quite some time to set up, if I'm being honest. Longtime viewers will know that the vocals obstacle is nothing new for me. When I completed the one man band full series FC on Rock Band back in 2019, my progress trailed on vocals way more than it did on the other instruments. However, I gradually learned to adapt to the vocal engine in Rock Band so that I would be able to complete that full series FC. Internally, I think I probably knew that the time would eventually come where I would need to do the same for Guitar Hero. But unfortunately, vocals FCs are a lot harder on Guitar Hero than they are on Rock Band. In Guitar Hero, the game requires the player to hit the correct pitches way more precisely than Rock Band ever did. And the threshold of each phrase required to hit it to maintain a combo is quite picky. World Tour and GH Live allow for yellow flashes and a simple majority, respectively, to count towards your combo, but otherwise, you need a green flash or your FC is over. This makes a lot of songs much harder to FC on Guitar Hero than their Rock Band counterparts. And generally, it makes thoroughly learning each song's pitches much more of a requirement. But don't worry, there is a silver lining. One important caveat to keep in mind is that the PS2 and Wii ports of these games behave a little bit differently on vocals, and this can make things easier a lot of the time. The pitch detection on these consoles is more lenient, so you don't need to be quite as precise to keep combo. However, playing this way comes with its own set of issues. Most notably, there is a huge input lag, which makes the game horribly out of sync even when you push through the calibration settings to their advantageous limit. Additionally, the microphone will just not reliably pick up the same range of notes as on Xbox 360 or PS3, as the sensitivity is all out of whack. As a result, the fireball will sometimes just jump, out, jump around erratically with no warning, even when you're holding a steady pitch. You've also got extended load times, ugly graphics, and a lack of visual feedback to help learn from your mistakes to deal with. So believe it or not, I actually don't own most of the Guitar Hero games on Wii, so I can't speak on that too much, but I do have them all on PS2. And so I have seen just, a, just under half of the vocal series on PS2. But to soften the blow a little bit, I did make sure to complete three full game FCs entirely on Xbox 360. Two of these games don't even award the player 100% for FCing the song though, so who knows why I even bothered. Speaking of that, how many people can honestly say that they have played through Guitar Hero Live on vocals? Well, obviously there's a little bit more to life than what exists on Score Hero, but only eight people have ever posted vocal scores there on the game. And honestly, I can't blame them, because unless you're gunning for the full series FC like I was, there isn't much reason to play it. On paper, this seems like an easy full game FC. To keep combo, the game only requires at least 50% of each phrase to be hit, which is nothing compared to the other Guitar Hero games. However, visibility is a huge issue here, as the vocal highway is tiny 
and pitches are hard to discern. Additionally, the game likes to just ignore your microphone input and not give you credit. Talkies are extremely picky, requiring precise timing to hit. Berserk is probably the hardest vocals I see in the game because it has a lot of erratically spaced talkies that like to drop without warning. Couple this with a lot of jumpy pitches, and this makes for a very annoying FC to go for. Also, downward slides are completely broken in this game, rendering some phrases nearly impossible. The ending for Nuclear Family is a particularly bad example of this. A lot of the songs have unpredictable phrase separation, so by the time you've noticed a small error, the FC is already gone. That's a problem throughout the entire Guitar Hero series on vocals, to be fair, but Counting Stars is a particularly egregious example, totaling roughly 130 phrases in just 4 minutes, and resulting in another of the hardest GH Live vocals FCs. It's also worth mentioning that in GH Live, scores earned on vocals don't save in any capacity, as they are only playable in tandem with the guitar controller. So don't lose your picture or video proof for any FCs that you get. The game also has range shifts, which in theory is good, but they're incorporated extremely poorly, so we just end up with situations like that one botched version of My Only Star from the Rock Band Network, where it's unnecessarily difficult to line up the right pitch. I think there's a pretty clear reason why Harmonix used this feature on so few official charts. It really only works during an extended break in the chart. The other three final songs I had left to FC in the Guitar Hero series on vocals are a little more self-evident in why they're hard. ABC, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Tones of Home are just flat-out challenging charts. Mostly ABC. I eventually managed to power through on that one after practicing it a ton on Warriors of Rock, as learning those kinds of really difficult songs through the PS2 was proving very unhelpful. I finally ended things off on Tones of Home earlier this week, completing the Vocals Full Series FC after about a year of seriously working through it. So now I guess I just need to FC the Guitar Hero DLC on vocals to complete the one-man band full library FC. But I'm not going to make any promises on getting that done anytime soon. Much like with the Vocals Full Series FC, I would like to do it eventually, just to say that I've done it but I'm not going to make it at an immediate priority. It's just not a fun grind. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and roll the clips now. Oh, my God. 
baby since Birdman. Unless you're a swallow. <laughs> word, Rick, word, man, you heard. But don't be discouraged, girl, this is your jam. Unless you got toe jam. Let you go. Will you do the bandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 Galileo. I'm just a poor boy and nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from this monstrosity. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? Bismillah, no, we will not let you go. Let him go. I'm 
mamma mia Mamma mia, let me go Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me For me
Wow. My voice is kind of destroyed. But I don't have to play vocals anymore. Wow. No chokes past the bridge, which is really, um, really surprising because I was pretty scared, but wow. One man band, full series, FC. <laughs> uh.
Oh. Nothing more to say. And the plants and the animals eat each other 